Good morning. It is currently a nice Sunday morning. I have my coffee that I can't show you because if I do, I'll spill it. And I am about to do a nice big yarn haul slash a chit chat about my summer, I'm sorry, my fall <laughs> knitting and crochet plans. All the yarn I'll be showing you today is from Hobby, so let's get started. The first yarn that I got is this blue sock yarn. This is the Silly Socks Superwash Wool by Hobby. I got two of them. Um, my plan for this yarn is to make my grandpa's birthday gift, which is coming up September 25th. Um, for Christmas a couple years ago, I made them a pair of socks, my grandparents, um, and they were like an acrylic size four pair of socks. So they weren't even really proper socks. They're more like slipper socks and they adore them. They love them. They were, she, my grandma was talking to my mom like a week ago about how she washed them for the first time this season because the nights are getting cold enough for them to wear them again. So they're obsessed with them. So I'm going to make them proper socks this year for their birthdays, which are September 25th and October 12th. So for my grandma's birthday, I'm making her also socks, but they're going to be pink and purple, not blue. And um, my grandma is at 8.5 in shoes and she has really narrow feet. So I'm hoping I can get away with 100 grams. And then my grandpa is definitely going to need at least above 100 grams. So I had to get two. Um, and right now I'm working on a pair of socks for myself because I've knit socks before, but I've never worked with sock yarn. I've only worked with like the weight for acrylic to make these big chunky socks that aren't really practical. So I just wanted to practice working, you know, on double pointed needles, which I've also never done before. I just used magic loop, but I don't have needles small enough, um, interchangeable circular, ne circular needles small enough for this yarn. So I had to use, um, the double pointed needles I have that I got this huge pack of them, bamboo ones for a dollar at a charity shop, because I don't think they knew what they were. Anyways, um, this is the yarn I'm using for these. And because my feet and my grandma's feet are pretty much the same size, I'm a size nine, she's at 8.5, and my feet are also narrow. I'm hoping that if I can get away with using 100 grams of yarn on my sock for my feet, I can definitely get away with using 100 grams for her sock for her feet. If not, I'll have to buy an accent color for like the heel and stuff, just to make the yarn go a little bit farther. But that is my first little bit of yarn. Yarn number two is this Fantasy Acrylic, also from Hobby. Like I said, all the yarn is. I'll probably stop saying that at some point. I got four of them, which I'm not picking them all up. And I'm going to be making the Let's Spooky Cardigan by A Honey Knits. I saw this pattern, I think two falls ago for the very first time when I was like very first getting into knitting. And I felt like a cardigan was way above my skill level because I was just making hats and like mittens and stuff um so I finally bought the pattern and I'm gonna make it and I've knit raglans before I've designed my own raglans before but something about a cardigan is really intimidating to me as a knitter I don't know why I feel like it's because I don't know like how much open space there's supposed to be so I don't know how to do the measurements so hopefully this pattern can teach me a little bit about cardigan knitting and I'm planning on making it twice because I ordered another yarn for it I wasn't originally planning on making it twice, but when I was ordering the yarn, I literally could not pick between the two colors. So I got both and I'll probably end up using it to make a second card again. The next yarn I got are these three balls of Friends Cotton. It is an 8-4 Mercy sized cotton. Hopefully I said that right. Um, and I'm using these to make the 7 p.m. tank. This was another one of those patterns that I first saw. Oops. The yarn's flying away from me. Um, it's another one of those patterns that I first saw when I was learning to knit. And I was like, wow, I really like this pattern. Um, but I feel like it's too advanced for me to make. And I don't want to work with yarn that small yet. And so years later, I finally come back to it. And I'm going to make it. Um, I don't know if this will be a fall knit. It might be because I feel like this would layer really well with cardigans and stuff. Um, but it might wait until next summer or spring. But I do have a lot of plans already for next summer and spring for knitting. So... I might want to crank this out. We'll see how like the winter and the fall goes. I don't know. The next yarn I got is this red cotton. It's the same cotton as the previous one, just in a different color. And this is for the Coastal Tank by, I forget who designed it, but I'll make sure it's in the video. Um, I'm really excited to knit this tank because there's just so much detailing in the shaping and I just love the way it looks. So I'm really, really excited. To get that casted on similarly to the last one though this might wait until the spring it might wait till the summer or maybe i'll get it done in the fall i really don't know um 
but these ones are kind of like last priority i'd like to get those socks done those are like the top of my list and then the cardigans are like next on my list so i can like have some decent amount of time wearing them in the fall and winter and then those are like my last priority i also have some other projects that involve yarn that i already have or yarn that is on the way because i have another yarn order coming in i needed to order it though okay i had a sweater and i needed to order one ball of yarn for it and you can't just order one ball of yarn so i got five or six other balls of yarn to make another sweater because that's how it works and then there's also a sweater vest that i'd like to make from yarn i ordered last fall that's actually sitting right here but anyways the last thing in my order a bunch of this sport weight 86 rainbow cotton and a bunch of it in black this is for christmas gifts for my sister and her boyfriend so i can't really talk about what my plans are for that quite yet i don't even know the exact details of it i'm just hoping i have enough yarn and i'm kind of hoping i have some leftover i got 10 of these so i'm assuming there will be leftover because i'm not making anything too big um because i'd really like to make like a crocheted tiered skirt and i think a sport weight white off-white cotton would be like the perfect thing for it anyways that's all the yarn i have to show you today it was kind of a lot but most of it actually all of it that i ordered has a plan which is a habit i've been trying to get into so i don't have this giant stash but that's a topic for another video so i hope you enjoyed watching i hope you're as excited as i am to see these knits come to life this fall stay tuned for another video i'm gonna try to start posting a little bit more long form content on this channel i don't really have a set schedule or anything yet maybe i'll get into that later but i am going to try to start posting a little bit more long form knitting and crochet related content on this channel so stay tuned for that bye